Hey everyone, I'm Black Lightning. Dr. Sabi is a quack. A quack is a person who dishonestly claims to have special knowledge and skill in some field, usually in medicine. I'm quite sure the name Dr. Sabi is a nickname because he's not a doctor. I'll just call him Sabi. I've heard about him for a while now, but I never got around to talk about him. Someone suggested that I talk about Sabi, so that was the catalyst to this video's upload. So this man says that mucus is the cause of diseases, but worst of all, he claims that he can cure all diseases, from AIDS to cancer. A man who don't even have a medical diploma, I don't have a PhD of any sort, but you don't see me making up such bold claims with little evidence to back it up. I'll also talk about that court case that people bring up as well. I'll start off with mucus. Sabi claims that the cause of all diseases is mucus. He says that mucus is the result of our starch and blood consumption, but it can be cleared by fasting and eating bio-mineral alkaline-rich foods and herbs. No, he is wrong about mucus. Mucus is very important to your body. Without mucus, your body will experience increased health risks. So why do we have mucus? We produce mucus in our tissue lines. Mucus is not created from consuming starch and blood. It's created naturally in our bodies. Where the heck did this guy get his information from? Did he produce any studies? I'm inclined to believe that this person had a runny nose from a cold one day and thought, my body is pushing this mucus out of it, so it must be bad. It has to have been something simple and silly as that. To be fair, it's okay to form a hypothesis such as that, but the next step is to test the hypothesis, not turn it into fact without doing an experiment. That's not scientific. So mucus is produced in the nose, mouth, sinuses, lungs, throat, and gastrointestinal tract. Mucus serves as a protective blanket over these surfaces to prevent the tissues underneath the mucus from drying out. The mucus can also trap unwanted substances such as bad bacteria and dust before they can get into your body. But if bad bacteria and viruses get into your body, your mucus can help your body get rid of them by trapping them. Not only does your body produce mucus naturally, it also protects the tissue in your body and your body itself. You need mucus. I'll include an article in my description box if you want to read more about mucus. Saying that mucus is the cause of all diseases is a very dangerous and misguided mindset to have. You cannot find a single legitimate scientific source to back that up. You're only going to hear it from quacks like Sabi. So what is the cause of all illness? There's a plethora of complex causes for these diseases, and to say it's all caused by mucus is oversimplifying the causes. I can't go over every illness, but I'll talk about cancer at least, and what it is. In order to do so, I'll have to give everyone a quick biology lesson, particularly and cell division to explain cancer. Every cell in our body divides asexually, meaning they create a clone of their selves. This is called mitosis. This is why new skin cells look exactly like the old skin cells, which is a good thing. If they reproduce sexually, that would cause mutations. There's also meiosis, and this cell division process specializes in reproductive cells. Meiosis is sexual reproduction, but I'm only going to focus on mitosis. So mitosis in our bodies is a very tightly regulated process. We don't want a cell dividing whenever it feels like it. <laughs> A cell spends most of its life in interphase and only spend a small fraction of its life dividing. After interphase comes prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Ipmat is how I remember them. The four phases that come after interphase is the division process. The chromosomes that each cell have is copied and the daughter cells have the same chromosomes as the parent cell. This is why the two cells are identical, because they share the same number and type of chromosomes. Meiosis goes through the same process, but it's a bit different. The daughter cells are not identical to each other. If someone wants a more detailed video on cell division, let me know. So the cell division process in our bodies is a very tightly regulated process. Your cells know when to stop growing, so you have the right number of each type of cell you need. 
Most of the time when an error occurs, that cell is destroyed. Unfortunately, when a certain mutation occur, not every cell with an error gets destroyed. So a cell starts dividing constantly and rapidly without showing any signs of stopping. It managed to bypass the self-regulating process and the cells that are dividing constantly are seen as normal by the body. Many variables can cause this mutation to happen in your cells. Smoking, radiation, viruses, carcinogens, obesity, hormones, chronic inflammation, and a lack of exercise. This mutation in your cells is cancer and it has nothing to do with mucus. As of now, there is no cure to cancer. If the cancerous cells happen to become metastatic, they can be removed. Many kinds of skin cancer can be removed. However, if the cancerous cells have become metastatic, they've entered the bloodstream and they will spread throughout your body. Removing the cancerous cells is simply removing them. It's not a cure. So mucus is not the cause of all diseases. So are Sabi's claims of curing people legitimate? He said he's been curing AIDS since 1987. You'd expect people with AIDS to go down since then, right? No, as of now, about 1.1 million people have HIV. If this man has the cure, the rate should be declining fast, but they're not. This man is lying and people are using other people's criticisms of him to suggest it's because people are silencing the truth. No, it's because we're not falling for his lies. You might be wondering what does he suggest or how does he quote unquote cure people? He tells people to fast, eat alkaline rich foods and detox products. I talked about detox and fasting already so I'll post a link to that video at the end of this video. But I'll talk about alkaline diets. Simply put, alkaline diets don't offer any additional benefits. Your blood maintains a pH level between 7.35 and 7.45 and it doesn't need help to do so in most cases. It has to stay in that range. If it were to leave that range, you will die. Here's the reason why people suggest alkaline diets. In an alkaline environment, cancer cells die. So using that bit of knowledge, you should be able to get rid of cancer, right? Uh, yes, but you also kill off your good cells in the process. People need to realize that these cancer cells are copies of your cells. If these copies can't survive, neither can the non-cancerous cells. Also, you can't change the pH level in your stomach, and it will be terrible if you did so. Your stomach needs to be acidic to break down food. It will be very devastating if your stomach isn't able to break down food and convert it into usable energy. The only thing you could change the pH level of is your urine, and that's pretty much it. Your blood isn't affected by it at all. The alkaline diet is actually healthy for you, but it doesn't do the things people claim it does. You're eating lots of fruits and vegetables and restricting processed junk foods. And yes, I know in the language of botany, vegetables don't exist. Tomatoes, peppers, and squash are actually fruits. Carrots and beets are roots. And onion and garlic are bulbs. Fun fact, but I digress. You don't need to buy any additional product. Also, this is just eating healthy since it doesn't change the pH value in your body or prevents cancer. Calling it the alkaline diet is unnecessary. What about alkaline water? It has a pH scale between 7 and 9.5 and the regular water is right in the middle, 7. There's no peer-reviewed studies that suggest alkaline water can help your body fight against cancer. Sure, alkaline water can help you if you have acid reflux, but that's about it as of now. So if you're healthy, you can drink bottled water or filtered tap water and won't miss out on anything. Just stay hydrated. People seem to have this odd fascination with the word natural. If it's natural, it's good for you. Eating all natural food can cure all diseases. People are blowing this out of proportion and companies are jumping on the bandwagon to include all natural on their products. Here's why this is flawed. There are poisons that are natural but they aren't good for you. What's stopping you from eating fungus off the ground? It's natural, right? 
but it isn't good for you and modern medicine which is called unnatural is good for you. We're living longer because of so-called unnatural remedies. This is where appealing to nature breaks down. Whether something is good for you or not should be verified individually, not based on whether it's natural or unnatural. By the way, everything in this observable universe is natural. That goes for anything humans created or influenced. I know people are going to bring up the court case, so I'll address that now. In the 1980s, when HIV became an epidemic, he sold products claiming that they can cure or prevent you from contracting HIV. Sabi was arrested February 10th, 1987, because he placed ads claiming that he has a cure for AIDS, which was a medical claim. The court case was not about whether or not Sabi could cure people, it was about whether or not he was practicing medicine without a license. He was found not guilty because he never went beyond just suggesting diets and selling herbs. He was simply a herbalist, and you don't need to be a doctor to be a herbalist. Since he never practiced medicine, he was found not guilty. Him winning the court case shouldn't be used to confirm that he has cured people despite the people he brought with him to support him. Court cases are not about proving scientific claims. They are about settling legal disputes. Once again, Sebi was found not guilty because he never practiced medicine. He just sold herbs and products and suggested diet plans. To summarize my video, Sebi relies on pseudoscience to sell his products. Those who already accept a conspiracy theorist premise that the government is suppressing cures to keep people sick and have this absurd perspective that there is natural cures to everything because nature beats modern medicine will see their self-supporting Sebi in no time. Bold claims require evidence to support them, not anecdotal evidence, empirical evidence. People can say they've been cured, but if it hasn't been proven to be the case, scientifically, it just hasn't been proven to work. I'm quite sure his target demographic are African Americans, so I assume that the majority of people buying his products are African Americans. Anyone can correct me if I'm wrong. African Americans still have the highest rates of HIV in America. If he can cure HIV, the rates should have decreased significantly. But that's not the case. His products, herbs, and the alkaline diet that he suggests have not been proven to cure the diseases he claims to have cured. It is very sickening that Sabi is doing this. He is profiting off of people's ignorance and giving them false hope. I feel terrible for the people who are ill looking up to this man, thinking that Sabi can cure them. I despise people like Sabi who can take advantage of people and get away with it. He has a big following and I know I'm outnumbered here. I expect the dislikes to tower over the likes if his supporters watch my video, but I won't let that discourage me. The evidence is on my side whether or not a few people agree with me. I don't see anyone speaking up against him, at least on YouTube. You can find articles online against him, but not in video format. Quacks like Sabi are going to find their targets. I don't have first-hand experience, but I'm quite sure it's a bummer to be diagnosed with diseases that don't have cures yet. It will make you want to try anything to cure yourself, but Sabi is not the answer. Modern medicine has been progressing and showing promising results. I believe the cure to cancer and HIV will be available to us in our lifetime. Heck, AIDS is no longer an instant death sentence. The big problems that people who disagree with Sabi have to face is the fact that he's an African American and many people like conspiracy theories. Anyone who criticizes him and they are not African American will be seen as racists. And anyone who is African American and they criticize him will be seen as sellouts or coons. Of course, the conspiracy theories that people against Sebi are merely trying to silence the truth are an added layer on it. Having a meaningful discourse with someone with that mindset is going to be difficult. Like I said in my detox video, just eat healthy food with little processing and exercise if you want to be healthy. There are no gimmicks or shortcuts to be healthy. If you think there's a cure to everything but the government, Illuminati, or whatever shadow government name people come up with these days, are withholding the cure to keep people sick, then that is not logically sound. A government needs civilians to keep their country running. The top 1% cannot run a whole country by themselves. 
They need us. If you think doctors are keeping you sick to make money off of you, sue them. You're probably not going to find any evidence for that because that's not happening as often as conspiracy theorists make it out to be. There are corrupt doctors and you can sue them for harming you. Get them locked up in prison so they can't harm anyone else. Also, people get sick a lot. Why withhold cures when they can make a lot of money by selling them? Are you forgetting we're in a capitalist society? People are just allowing Hollywood to shape their world view. Learn to separate fantasy from reality. So Sabi is a quack and what he's doing is appalling. Anyways, thanks for watching and take care.